Want to learn the five reasons people aren't buying your Christian t-shirts? Well, sis, if you got a Christian t-shirt business and you are having trouble moving that product, stay tuned to the end of this video because I'm going to share with you my five top reasons people may not be buying your Christian t-shirt business online. Hey, it's your girl Steph Rodness, founder and CEO of God the Wood Girl, creator of the God the Wood Girl School of Business, and my purpose in life is to connect you with the resources you need to achieve your purpose in life. So if God has purposed you to be a Christian entrepreneur and you are looking for free resources to help you get started, make sure you hit the subscription button to the God the Wood Girl YouTube channel because that's what we do here, sis. And if you're ready to learn the top five reasons people may not be buying your Christian t-shirts online, grab your pen and paper, let's dive right in. Reason number five, people may not be buying your Christian t-shirts, is that people don't understand the purpose of your t-shirt business. Listen sis, every single business needs to be a solution to a problem, including your t-shirt business. So if you are not communicating the problem that you solve in your business, aka the purpose of your business, the mission of your business, the vision of your business, then it's not going to inspire somebody to take their coins, their hard earned coins out of their pocket and give them to you for a Christian t-shirt. Remember, T-shirts are a commodity item. It's just something that we put on to wear. It's not a luxury Louis Vuitton bag or <laughs> Christian Louis Vuitton shoes. It's just a T-shirt that we wear to get through the day. So if you want people to be looking at your T-shirt business and wanting your shirts, you need to communicate to that person why your T-shirt is not just another commodity item and why it's something that's valuable to them and a mission that they can stand by and believe in. Here at Godwood Girl, the shirts that I create are all here to help you live your purpose. I'm here to remind you that Godwood Girls rise, that you are a purposepreneur, that Romans 8.28 says you are purpose, that you are destined, that you are chosen. That is the purpose of my shirts. They're not just a regular shirt for you to throw on. I want when you put on a Godwood Girl shirt to remember that you are purpose, you are chosen, you are destined, and that you can do this thing God purposed you to do. That is communicating a mission. That is showing that the t-shirts that I have solve a specific problem. So you wanna get really, really clear on what the problem is that you solve with your t-shirt business and you need to communicate that purpose to those who you want to buy your shirts. Reason number four people may not be buying your Christian t-shirts is that, well, you are just too similar to the competition. Now there is nothing wrong with being inspired by other Christian brands online. And I see this all the time in the fashion industry. That's why you'll see like 15 different collections come out and they're all similar. Because everybody's being inspired by everybody else. And there is nothing wrong with finding inspiration from other businesses because there's no new ideas. Let's be real here. <laughs> there's really no new ideas. So everybody takes inspiration from everybody. However, there is a huge difference between inspiration and ripping somebody's ideas off. And a lot of times, because it's so easy to launch a t-shirt business, people will see a brand take off and then say, I could do that, but you know, my own version, and literally cheat and take that person's designs and images and style and aesthetic and put it on their own shirts and lower the price by a dollar and then try to compete that way. But here's the problem, sis. If you are a cheater brand, you're literally taking from somebody else, God can't bless that. You're not operating in integrity. You're not operating ethically. And if we're Christian entrepreneurs, we gotta do the right thing even when nobody's looking. Do not cheat and take somebody else's designs and ideas. Then you're just gonna be just like the competition and there's no reason for you to stand out. You wanna create your own identity online. It's okay to be inspired, but come up with your own ideas and your own designs. And if you're not a graphic designer, that's okay. There are so many websites available that will help you bring your ideas to life, like Fiverr.com and Upwork.com, Indeed.com, 99designs.com. You can communicate with them what your vision is, what the purpose is, and they can show you designs that are original that you can now use for your own brand. Do not copy the competition. It's not going to allow you to grow. Reason number three people may not be buying a Christian t-shirt business online is that, well, your shirts are too expensive. Now, I completely can understand. I used to price my shirts at like $55. It was crazy. And here's what I like to say this is like. Let's say that you are used to going to McDonald's and getting a $5 Big Mac, right? You go on vacation, you're in a new city, you go into a McDonald's and you go up to the register, you say, can I please have a, a Big Mac? And the lady behind the register says, sure, that'll be $50. And you almost choke and you said, excuse me, what? I said a Big Mac. <laughs> and she says, uh-huh, $50. Are you going to take $50 out of your pocket and pay $50 for a $5 Big Mac? No, you're going to call her a scammer. You're going to call her a ripoff. You're going to walk out and go and find another McDonald's. 
It's the same instincts people have when they're shopping online. If people are used to buying a certain type of item for a certain price, then if you try to overprice them, they instinctively think in their spirit, this is a ripoff and they will walk away. That's why when you are launching a Christian t-shirt business, you always wanna do product research and see what other people in your industry are charging for your type of shirts. Different niches charge different types of amounts, okay? So you have to do your own product research for your own niche. In my niche, a lot of times the self-development shirts and things like that are usually $25 to $30. So if I come out here, which I did in the past, and try to charge $55 for a shirt, which I tried in the past, <laughs> people are gonna look at that shirt and be like, nah sis, it's too expensive, which is what happened to me. Once I learned about product research, I realized that if people are used to paying a certain amount of money for a certain type of item, I need to be priced competitively. Otherwise, there are signals in that person's brain saying this ain't right. Now, there's, a, there's an exception to this. If you are bundling your t-shirt with something, for example, you're offering your t-shirt plus an, a digital ebook that shows you how to live your purpose, that's different. And you can, if you're doing a bundle item, then yes, you can price accordingly. I'm only talking about Comparing apples to apples. If you are selling t-shirts in a certain industry and other people are doing the same, people are used to paying a certain amount of money, make sure you're pricing your shirts accordingly. Reason number two, people may not be buying the Christian t-shirts is, well, your shirts ain't branded, sis. <laughs> now, branding is one of those things that a lot of new entrepreneurs think about last. Uh, really up top, when you start launching, you're just thinking about, oh my gosh, I need to sell, I need to sell, I need to sell. But here's the problem. If you don't have a clear brand identity online, then it's really easy for you to be replaced and people to go someplace else. Now, what is a brand, right? A brand is just like the physical characteristics of a regular person. So if you're looking at me and you've been watching my YouTube videos for a while, then when you see my YouTube thumbnail on your timeline, you recognize the hair, you recognize the glasses, you probably recognize the diva ring light in my glasses. <laughs> you recognize the Godwood Girl shirt. You know that I'm probably wearing black, white, pink, or gray. I do not deviate from this image. Do you know why? Because you have grown to recognize that brand image. So you are more likely to click that YouTube video because you recognize the branding. This is what you want to do with your Christian t-shirt, sis. For when somebody's searching for that shirt online and yours pops up among all the other search results, your brand stands out so clearly that she instinctively clicks yours because she knows you, likes you, trusts you, and recognizes you amongst all the other search results. That's why Nike has such a powerful brand. I can put a Nike shirt in with 15 other black shirts. You are always gonna be able to pick out the Nike shirt because, doop, yep, they got their little logo. You wanna create the same thing for your t-shirts online. You wanna be recognizable from everybody else in the competition. I remember there was one Christian t-shirt business creator who DM'd me on Instagram and was like, hey, can you take a look at my t-shirts and see what you think I'm doing wrong because nobody's really buying my stuff. And I usually don't do this, but for some reason I decided to click through and take a look at his collection and he had shirts in every color under the sun, every font under the sun, every style under the sun. And I was like, uh, <laughs> there's no way for you to create a brand personality because you have literally created every type of t-shirt imaginable. So there's no way for somebody to be able to recognize you online amongst all the other competition. And I don't want the same for you. I want you to get a really, really clear brand identity, brand personality for your t-shirt business so that people can recognize you amongst everybody else. And reason number one, the biggest reason, most likely the number one reason people are not buying your Christian t-shirt business online is... You and I'll tell them you have a Christian t-shirt business. <laughs> now, marketing is putting the right message in front of the right person at the right time that they're looking for it. That's all marketing is. Communicating to people who want the problem that you solve in your business solved, you just tell them that you solve the problem. That's what marketing is. And the same thing happens with your t-shirt business. But a lot of times as entrepreneurs, as Christian entrepreneurs, we avoid marketing like the plague. We don't like to tell people that we have a business. We don't like to tell people about our products. We don't like to do marketing. We just like to create new products, which is great. And I understand And as entrepreneurs, a lot of us are creatives and praise God, this is one of our spiritual gifts. We're able to create and come up with ideas. However, remember what Genesis 3, 16, 17, and 18 says, because of sin, it is by the sweat of our brow we shall eat. Now, before sin happened, we could just reach up into that tree, get that free, and nah, 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 delicious. But now, because of sin, we gotta get the seed, we gotta dig the hole, we gotta plant the seed, we gotta water the seed, and here's where Jesus does his part. 
If he allows that seed to take root and grow into a plant and bear fruit, now we have to go back to that tree and harvest the fruit. The Lord is not going to take the fruit down and feed it into your mouth, okay? Because of sin, we got to give God something to bless. It is by the sweat of our brow that we shall eat. And in your business, you have to give God something to bless in order for you to sell your t-shirt business online. You need to do marketing, sis. You have to do marketing. Marketing is just putting the right message in front of the right person at the right time that they're looking for it. And all glory to Jesus, being a Christian entrepreneur in 2019 means you can do this for free. We've got Facebook, we've got Instagram, we've got Pinterest, we've got Twitter, we've got YouTube, we've got LinkedIn, Snapchat, we've got TikTok coming up. There are so many different platforms to do marketing on that Listen, I know you're going to want to avoid it. I know you're listening to me say this, saying, eh, I don't need to do marketing. Yes, you need to do marketing. No, Stephanie, no. yes, yes, you too. No, not me. Yes, mm-hmm, yep, and, uh, and her over there, yeah. You got to do marketing in order to sell your shirts in your t-shirt business. There is no shortcut. There's no getting around it. If you are a Christian entrepreneur, you need to make marketing a priority in your business. And if you want to help doing this, make sure you get into the God Little Girl School of Business, where I show you how to master marketing so you can tell people about your business. And if you want a free t-shirt business checklist to help you stay on track as you're launching your t-shirt business, make sure you click the link in the description box below to get my free launch your t-shirt business checklist. Thanks so much for watching today's video, Sister of Christ, and God willing, I'll see you on the next one. Hey love, thanks so much for watching this video on my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and click the subscribe button so you can get brand new videos that God Will Grow releases. My mission with the God Will Grow YouTube channel is for it to empower at least 5 million women of Christ to get unstuck, stop feeling frustrated, and start living God's greatest purpose for their lives. So if you want to join that movement, make sure you click the link below to join me in the God Will Grow School of Purpose, where I literally teach you how to start living God's greatest purpose for your life step by step. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video.